Welcome back to Pantheon Epsilon. This is the episode in Intersection 5. This should be the last episode, and looks like they did not take out all those spawners in the tree, or any of them probably. Did I look at any of those enemies? Apparently not. Good. So let's just uh, run along by all these spawners in this area, so we can uh, head into the actual part of the area. Ooh, looks like these spawners aren't um, primed, as is said, I think, is what the te technical term is that makes them like spawn right away. They yeah, spawn pretty quickly, or some of them do probably, but, um, oh boy, one of these guys. Are these all just blazers though? Yeah, they are, so. Let's actually not deal with those. <laughs> Owie. Uh, let them hit me away, and that was fine, just leave them there. They're not really, uh, something I want to worry about. Yeah, it looks like some, most of these spawners are actually primed. Is that, are they angry? Why are they screaming? I mean, why is that guy running at me? I didn't hit anyone. I didn't do anything, I, I promise, I didn't do anything to you guys. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? Okay. Let's just go ahead and run away from the pigmen then. They don't seem very happy for some reason. Okay. Not primed zombie spawner, okay. Usually when spawners are put out in the middle like that, with no uh, other spawners to help um, distract the player, they're usually uh, nice and quick to spawn, but apparently not. So I don't think they probably changed anything, or much of anything, in this whole nesting ground bit. It wasn't really a very uh, important bit in the first um, rendering of the map. Some lapis is kinda cute. Pretty sure that's uh, not anything new. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the only thing that was changed about this area was the, like, the, the teleporter in, or the nether portal in. Wow, okay, let's make sure these guys don't spawn. Okay, spiders, not the best thing to uh, let spawn. And I'm trying to get some uh, levels off of these spawners for uh, for an anvil, because like one of the only anvils in the map is uh, coming up, and I want to uh, do some repairing and upgrading. And I assume this uh, creeper spawner mass is the same here. Is it? Did it take out the creeper spawners? Hmm. I think I saw some spawn flames, no? Huh. They got rid of the creeper spawner hallway. Oh, That was so, such a cute little, um... Just... <laughs> I, I shouldn't say cute. And they didn't get rid of that, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that that was there. Okay. Well, at least there's something sketchy about that hallway. Uh, the creeper spawners, I thought was okay, but I guess it would be probably pretty annoying and overwhelming. Uh, but I, I guess that's still there. Oh, actually, yeah, it looks like they toned it down a lot, and uh, not all the bridges are made out of spawners, so that's uh, nice to see. Okay, so which one should I go for first? Miners only roll, Pyre of the Damned, Helmix Throne, and the Nested Grounds. Let's, get, let's actually go for the, um, the throne first, I think. See if they changed anything, like, uh, in the path up to the area. Okay, let's actually just do that so they can't bug me. Looks like there's a spawner here. Pretty sure that's what that meant. Okay, enchantment table. Didn't take that out. Sweet. It's not the not exactly the first enchantment table of the map because uh, there was one in the very second area, orange wool. Okay, should I take that as a backup? Probably should, yeah. Okay, definitely looking for bits of iron because I don't have uh, that much iron, and it's always nice to have some. Don't really... Eh, let's go ahead and use these, I guess. Okay. Da -da -dum. I don't want them to take up space in the inventory, and I'm just kind of running through the map anyway, so... Okay. Let's go ahead and eat this, too. Waste not. Alright. Is that noise coming from outside? That's weird. Okay. Bunch of loot in here. Doesn't, doesn't look like they changed the loot much. In this bit, is this leading out to the uh, bridges, or is that just a bunch of natural spawns? Or a sp spawner somewhere in this room? Ooh, lots of stuff. And what's on this bow? Knockback R2, okay. It's actually not too bad. Take the take the uh, arrows, though. It's actually not take that stake. Okay. And I assume similar loot in these chests. Okay, not too bad. Instant health, not instant health, too, so I don't really care. Iron ingots, thank you. Alright. Go ahead and get out of here, where I believe one of the first crossings of the, 
but this is pretty. I think. Yeah, I see all those uh, spawner flames coming out of the floor there. Yeah, this is a lot more manageable. Like before, in the previous version, this entire bridge was just spawners. Like, yeah, the entire bridge was spawners. But now it looks like they just like made it only a few blocks are the spawners. That makes it a lot better. Like, holy crap, that's, this is actually playable now. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Let's just uh, hopefully get across here without too much hassle. Okay. Yeah, before, if I try to run across that like that, like, I would just be so quickly overwhelmed, it would be, like, impossible. So, that's nice to see that they changed. This has case spiders in it. I don't really want to deal with it. This is a sketchy uh, pressure plate room. The creeper walking around in it, so hello. I remember you, I remember you guys. Cheeky little blaze spawner somewhere. There it is. Okay. And then this room is the room I freaked out on my LP, because I finally found, a, like, a second anvil in the map. Of course, there's silverfish in this room. But, uh, yeah. More, more than one anvil. Yay. Let's go ahead and combine my bow with the infinity bow, make a power 5 infinity, infinity bow, and repair my blade of lightning. Oops, no, we don't repair a blade with the anvil. Well, I kind of do, but not like that. Okay. And then uh, this junk. There we go. Maintenance shaft B. Don't exactly remember like how to get to the next level. Like I know this just blows up a bunch of stuff, but does it blow up the path? I forget. Okay, so that's gonna blow up. Does, does it unlock the path to the... Oh, it does. I think. <laughs> or not. No. I forget how to, how to get up <laughs> um, into the area. But it probably doesn't... There's probably not too much difference between versions in this area. There might, might have been, but I forget. <laughs> Well, nothing more than like the uh, spawner bridges and how they've been changed, which is I'm very glad about. Let's go ahead and just. Uh, do I really want to bother going all the way up there for the? And I know that like the rose is up there and the brown wool and all that junk, but screw it. I'm gonna go into this area, whatever this is. Okay. Oh yeah, and the, no more teleporters. So did they put any traps in these like long hallways? No. Okay, <laughs> even hallway. The miner's only rule. Oh, fantastic! Laugh. I think that was in the first version. Mining goggles. Yeah, it's just my night vision. It's like infinite night vision. Six hundred hours or something. Do these silverfish spawners work? I know this one um, worked, but then like all the ones after this one didn't work for some reason. In my LP, at least. So uh, these jump boost silverfish were pesky little buggers. But uh, let's see if they fix the spawners. Maybe the spawners could have fixed themselves, maybe. Oop, nope. Spawners still don't work. Fantastic. Well, that's really nice for me, I guess, because I don't... <laughs> no. Eh. But I guess it's not good news for the map, because the map is still broken, apparently. Yeah, see the spawner? It looks like... Uh, this is my diagnosis, but it looks like this was a custom position data spawner. And when they moved it somewhere, maybe... It uh, made the silver silver fish spawn somewhere else where the custom position data told it to go, so that probably broke that spawner and made it not spawn anymore. Uh, do I want to check out the diamonds, see if they added any more diamonds or, or anything? Because there was a very, very uh, limited amount of diamonds uh, in the first version, at least. That spawner didn't go off very fast, now did it? Let's go ahead and shoot you and head up to your spawner. Not too worried about falling in the lava because I have a water bucket. Although it probably should have a potion of <laughs> fire resistance if I'm if I want to be too careful. But uh, do I have one? Nope. Fantastic. Okay, I'll be fine if I fall down there. Right. Water bucket. And like every single silverfish spawner except for like one that's way far up ahead, is it seems to be uh, broken by the whatever's breaking these silverfish spawners. So I guess they didn't fix that. <laughs> I was I assumed they had. But oh well, someone didn't watch my LP. <laughs> yeah, JK. All right. Um, doesn't look like look like they added any more diamonds to that thing. That's like the only place where there's diamonds in the map. I wonder if they made it so that those diamonds are not trapped down there. I th 
thought I, I thought I, I think I remembered them talking about not making those diamonds trapped because they were pretty cruel traps to be like right on right under the diamonds. There's like a fall with gravel and it blows up with TNT, <laughs> and there's like a straight up death trap. But I wonder if they changed that or made it so that it wasn't trapped. But oh well, and uh, don't really want to risk testing that <laughs> hypothesis at the moment. And I think that's all I really wanted to see in that area. And the rest of the area is kind of annoying to get to because you got a block everywhere. But um, uh, what? So it, so they didn't change or they didn't fix the silverfish spawners, which is what I wanted to check mostly in that area. Oh uh, well, the Palamax throne was that? The... No, no, that one leads way up there, which I don't think that they changed much. So this I think is the, is the last area. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get through the that. Okay, hello, zombie pigman. Oh, so there is a teleporter. Yeah, I guess this area was too big or something to connect up with that. But um, the final stretch. Do I remember this in the uh, in the first version? I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, don't mess it up now. The final stretch is ahead of you. Amlop and Vex, the god of misfortune, and the patriarch lie ahead. They are almost symb symbiotic. These two work very closely together. They also will show no mercy. I wait hidden for your return with the final keys. If you can complete the monument, at least perhaps I can be free. If you can complete the monument, at least they shall be free. Okay, the final stretch, the big, the, the big finale of the map, <laughs> and uh, already the block variation is sketchy. <laughs> Just two blocks. Eh? I mean, I, I, I'm not one to harp on block variation, I guess, but whatever. It's obsidian and, and stone with random nether rack peppers. I like to call it, like, when there's, like, a, a different kind of block that you put around, like, just a little bit of, uh, in, like, little bits of one. I call that peppering, peppering the block variation or something. I don't know. Just what I say. Let's just go on here. Skip along this. And, uh, this bit is what I hated in my LP. The, the, the stupid punch bow skellies and the... Weren't there punch bow skellies? I think there were. But, uh... Yeah, this. What was in this chest? Bow flame one for TNT or something. Yeah, this. I hated this so much. Okay. What I did. What I did was just block. I mean, is there's a dug around around the side and there's like bedrock in the wall and everything. But uh, just not gonna deal with that. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and slide through this room because doing it safely just takes forever and I don't want it to, to make this episode too long. Okay. That's done. And once again, this isn't exactly a let's play of the map. It's a uh, showcase of the changes between versions of the map, so eh. they're not going to really bother with those parts that are for LPers to struggle with. Man, Zisto, Zisto is playing through the map right now as of recording this, and it's going uh, interestingly. <laughs> he is not the quickest player, and uh, his first area like, has already taken him three episodes to get through because he's blocking, a, blocking above it all. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cute. A little pig derp trying to play through the map. Uh, it's actually like I, I've never like even watched Zisto before, but now everyone's like watching. Uh, well, it's like everyone's playing Pantheon now, just like, and I'm in interested to see how he's gonna play the new version of it, I guess, and how it's gonna transfer over when he gets the world save of the new version transferred over and whatnot, which I believe has happened as of recording of this, but he hasn't recorded a new episode with the new version yet as of recording this, but we'll see. Alright, just gonna deal with these uh, pigmen. Should probably abuse my power 5 bow. It's got infinity now, so it's like, why should I, why would I not use it? Okay. Uh, boom. Okay. Alright, should I actually... Ah, I should have grabbed the flame 1 bow, actually, to put flame 1 on my bow, so I could shoot some TNT in the next bit, or in the death fortress. Which I'm pretty sure it can happen. I'm actually not sure if, if that... Oh yeah, isn't the TNT covered by glass actually, so yeah, no, I can't do that. Pretty sure. Oop, bit of lag there. Not sure why. Okay. I wonder if you could actually get to those beacons. Or if they're like blocked off somehow. Your spawner is high up. Okay, there's blazes and pigmen. Okay. Let's go ahead and not let these guys hit me because I believe they have strength and they do a lot of damage. Okay. Get up to the blade. Guest spawner. Take care of that. And Pikmin. Okay. 
Is there a... Uh, yeah. Break in the bridge. Obviously. Because what would the challenge be if there wasn't a break in the bridge? The... And then the red wool is like down there. Or is it the green? Is the green? No, I think it's the red. Yeah, because the black wool is through here. So the... It would have to be the... The... Red wool, right? Okay. Head up here. Makes me wonder what's at the very top of this place and if we can like climb above the area. A bit too easy. Ooh. This looks new. Can you jump over that? Really? Huh. Ah, let's go ahead and put that like right there. Dang it. Get out of the way. Alright. There we go. This definitely looks new. Death versus death. Mild amount of death. If no death occurs, see death. Okay. So yeah, this looks like the, the teleporter used to be like right here, and I guess they connected it up with the path. Fantastic. Wow, this is a long path. <laughs> yeah, kind of iffy. I mean, hmm. Could have been a railway. <laughs> Maybe or something a bit faster than this huge path. Hmm. But at least it's connected, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so a bunch of gear, like a ton of gear actually. Eh. I mean, I got enchantment, so. A bit overkill on the loot, but. Yeah, especially on the torches, like so many torches and arrows. Eh. Alright. Am I good? Can ride a pig into battle if I want to. A shortness of dust. This was here, right? I'm pretty sure this was here in the first version, so yeah. There's one last thing to discuss, Acolyte, here at the end of things. You stand before the realm of Vex, the Patriarch, the first of the gods, the first of the traitors to the Titans. The gods did not fight the Titans for nothing. They didn't do it for, for anger either, nor did they do it for revenge. Power did not matter. Life did. The divine dust of the world is running short. Divinity could see an end. The gods saw a chance and removed the Titans, other beings who consumed dust for their divinity. By waking the titans and working with them, we can cleanse the world of divine dust. With their help, we, we can destroy divinity. Now overcome your final challenge, defeat the patriarch, and claim the key. Start the revolt. End divinity. Free my soul, I'm counting on you. We all are. So, interesting uh, lore book there. <clears throat> hey look, they took out- did they really take out the uh, that? Because that was really annoying. To have to shoot down all these gas spawners, that's really nice. I'm glad they did that, except they're still there. So how are you supposed to take out the spawners? Oh, jeez, look at all those. Uh, how am I supposed to take out the spawners now? Like, you were supposed to shoot those things with a um, fire charge spawner that, that spawned right there. But that's gone, apparently. So how are you supposed to kill the... Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just skip over this bit and block over there. <laughs> Which I actually haven't tried before, but... That looks like something I can definitely do here. Why not, right? It's not like my bucket of water will uh, not work in the nether, right? Actually, there's that potion spawner right there, but eh. If I go straight at it, hopefully it doesn't knock me off. If I die, I just basically rage quit the series. Because, <laughs> yeah, screw coming all the way back here. Just fly here, probably. Eh, lazy. All right. Probably not even going to bother going all the way back once I get the wool. I'm just going to go ahead and block that. Okay. And dum da dum. Nice little uh, enchantment table there. Did they nerf the, Z the Zisto spawners? That's what I want to know, because when I did my LP, that was just like murder on me. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, run through all this. Howdy, y'all, by Vex. Yeah, it's probably better armor than mine, so might as well put that on. There's enchanted boots in there as well. Projectile protection? I don't need projectile protection too much, do I? No feather falling? Dang it, that's what I really want. Alright, what's on my helmet? Yeah, aqua infinity respirator. Yeah, definitely need this. <laughs> okay. And my legs are, of course, just the best legs I could possibly have. Because the protection 5 is like crazy. Okay. And these, yeah, there's another 2. I should probably take that. Why not? No fire resist? Dang it. Yeah, well. Do I want that anymore? Not really. Okay. Oh, then there's more in this chest, I think. This is, like, supposed to prepare you for, like, the final push into the castle and whatnot. But, uh, should be fine. Alright. Let's go ahead and run along the outside of here. 
and I uh, shouldn't have too much issue with this or this. Although those these stoves might get annoying. Okay. Okay. And hello, Zisto. You don't appear to be angry because, oh boy, did they? Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, now I can't test it. <laughs> I guess uh, maybe they uh, forgot to change the Zistonian people to work with the new 1.8 uh, Pigman data tag that makes them angry instead of the previous one. Like, but previously, there was like just just this tag that you put to make them angry, and then that would be that would make them angry. But now they have like this whole anger tag that d d determines how long they're going to be angry or something. I wonder if they didn't change that or fix that for 1.8 in uh, this castle. Be interesting. But uh, for now, I'm just interested in finding the staircase and moving on. Can I uh, get you get a block in there? Oop, I should probably take that out. Then the numbers. And whatnot. Okay. Can I not reach that? There we go. And down it goes. Okay. Can I reach that? Yes. Okay. Now I just need you guys to get out of the way. And yeah, look, that 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 pig man doesn't uh, isn't aggro. So, huh? Maybe it's a little unintentional nerf on the area, which will be cute because they were really pesky for me at least. I played it, they, put, they they knocked me back right into the lava there, and I, I lost so much stuff, like, ugh, I lost everything, and the lava just gone, and so that really made me mad, but um, now apparently it's probably a lot easier, okay. Okay, just uh, kill these guys, and actually block them off, oop, whew. some reason my mouse didn't activate right there, and uh, for the purposes of this playthrough, I'm just going to dig up here, where I believe... The uh, staircases. Am I digging through the like? Are these silverfish? <laughs> I feel like I'm digging through those a lot slower than I should, but that's weird, huh? All right, just block this off. Nope, nope. Phooey. This might get awkward. Just a bit. Nope. Fine. All right. What? Why can't I place a block there? Okay. There we go. Now I'm up here. Just gonna rush the ladder. Ignore the enderman and the potion spawners. And the potion uh, fibers head up to the top here, top of the ladder, and there's gonna be a big staircase. And I, I've always wanted to try this, just try to get up here legitimately and see how it goes. Uh, I guess they. I wonder if they added this. Did they add the uh, block off or the fence, or I mean the the bars? I wonder if they added that. Yeah, boy. How <laughs> weird. Try to block myself in. Oh well. These guys aren't too much of an issue, even in numbers. Got this sharpness five sword, knockback two, so melee mobs aren't really an issue, really. Okay. I've always wanted to try to try this legitimately, like actually get the wool legitimately, because this is like, oh boy. Yeah, because what I had to do in my LP is just dig to the wool and mine through the obsidian and just pluck the wool out of the spawner, out of the fleece box like that, but didn't really like doing that. Doesn't look like there's... Oh boy, Supercharged Creeper. Um, let's run back here. And actually run away from the Supercharged Creeper, because he might be an issue. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and do something like this. A little cheeky, but I'm um, alive. Okay. Yes, you like this? <laughs> there's way too many mobs. <laughs> Not really seeing how this is supposed to be possible to uh, get through without digging. So, hmm. Let's try it one more time. Because why not? It's the end of the series, might as well take a risk or two. Um. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh, yeah, whatever. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Okay. A little iffy with all this TNT everywhere, but, um, dang it. Can't really abuse my water here either, so. Can I at least get out? <laughs> no. What I can do is run all the way around here and attempt to uh, get some more blocks in the bar. 
And creeper's gonna go off. But I'm good. Alright. The color crap though, there's all these skeletons. <laughs> ah. So if this was me, I'd uh, tone down the skeleton spawners. <laughs> Cause that's still pretty ridiculous, okay. And hey, we're all the way back here. So um yeah, I guess that's gonna be a series. Yeah, of course, this wasn't about beating the map, it was about just showing differences, uh, changes from the 1.8 version for this map. I think that's a good way to end, I guess, just the impossibility of the black wall, of course. Well, the, the, the legitimate, the, 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 the manly impossibility. <laughs> I mean, it, it would probably still be possible. Like, if I got those blocks to actually get me up away from those skeletons, I probably could have pulled that off, but eh, didn't happen. Probably would have, uh, it could have happened, but whatever. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'm sure I missed a ton of changes, so don't uh, expect this to be like a perfect, you know, like showing or change log of um, the changes made to the 1.8 Pantheon Epsilon update. But uh, one thing's for sure, this map is, plays a lot better. It uh, runs in 1.8 now. The uh, problems with the map have, most, for the most part, been fixed, and it's uh, generally a lot better. So thanks for uh, watching, thanks for changing the map, uh, all the people who uh, cha went back and changed all these before the release of Titan's Revolt, because it's, it's always nice to make sure your uh, first map is cool, or at least uh, half decent, I guess, before um, releasing a sequel. So I can't wait for Titan's Revolt, though. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time!